All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Views from the 906 Podcast. My name is Dylan Hemela. I'm joined by Mike J. Williams, Parker Miller, and Justin Riley, as always. To start out, I wanted to talk about uh, Juice World. Rest in peace, Juice World. What did you guys think about that news over the weekend? Don't I, sip I, lean I, and don't eat Percocet. I wasn't. I wasn't shocked. I, I I thought like I thought a year ago. I mean, I liked I liked a lot of his music and stuff. But I mean, people who live life like he like rap like just drinking so much fucking lean. The thing about lean is codeine is a lot less potent than like Percocet and shit. So these guys are drinking it like it's fucking juice, and that will just kill you, man. It's sad as fuck. Did you hear the? Did you see the stuff that came out today? Allegedly, yeah. they had seventy pounds of weed on the on the PJ, yep. and he like swallowed twenty perks just to hide him from the cops because the pilot had told the cops that they had guns and shit. Which I don't know how that works. How the fuck do you get on a private jet with seventy pounds of weed and some guns? That's what I'm trying to figure. Seventy pounds of weed. How do you have a private jet and not trust the pilot? Yeah, that's yeah, what that I'm saying. Sucks. Like, how the fuck are you gonna get in this situation? Get yourself in a situation where you're gonna land in a city and be have cops waiting for you, like? I'm assu- this isn't the first time you've done something like this, I'm assuming. No, absolutely not. So it's just kind of shitty. And then, you know, one thing leads to another. Now he's swallowing all these pills and then he's having a seizure while they're searching the fucking jet. I don't know. It comes down to like <clears throat> all the rappers nowadays just glorifying drug use. Yeah. And that's like, that's yeah. At the same time, it's a choice. I, I agree. But I mean, some people can listen to music and not go out and do. You know, I, I listen to trap music and stuff. I ain't going out shooting people and shit, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, of course you have that. But there's also so many younger kids that, like, just so impressionable by their favorite whoever. Yeah. Rapper, TV star, whatever. Yeah. And because uh, Juice World that came out and said that Future had introduced him to Lean. And when Future yeah, had heard he was that, he was like, damn, like, that's kind of fucked up. Like, I feel terrible about this. Think yeah, about Future's like, biggest song. Yeah. I mean, all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Which which one? Percocet <laughs> in a stripper joint or? Mask yeah, off. like we said, it's just it's just a part of the culture, man, and it's just sad to see it. And then that was like where someone had publicly come out and said, "Yo, you were the reason I did this." It's just, it's terrible, man. Um, to attach like a face to something you had promoted back in the day, I guess. Kind of shitty, but think about all the artists we lost in the last what two years, just in general. Yeah, it's a lot. Well, like, it, there's a uh, lot. And what, guns, too, and gun violence. In 2019, what? There was X, Lil Peep, and now Juice World. Mac Miller. Mac Miller, too, yeah. Mac Miller. It's just terrible, bro. Jenny Wapo. There's a lot of people. There's a, it's too much. Happens too often. Lil Wayne had a seizure, too. Lil Wayne has seizures all the time, and they say, oh, he's epileptic. My fucking ass is epileptic. Bro, he's, <laughs> no, he's, he's the king of lean. I'm surprised he's um, not dead. Ain't none of your business what's in my cup. <laughs> bro, like, they're bro, the He's OGs been keeping this up for, like, fucking 15 years plus. Like, I don't know how he's still alive. I don't know. It's crazy. It's just sad when people can't get a hold. Well, just, you know, they can't control it. And it just, yeah, it turns into more and more problems. And then it all, you know, it all ends the same for a lot of these guys. A big part sad, of it is, like, sad is the right word. somebody who's, like, who's famous like that and they don't have the right people around them, they're fucked. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And think, well, Look think a about where a lot of these guys come from. They don't have the right people around them. You know, they, no. they just got their boys. Which is yes. They got yes men cool, around dude. them, and they got somebody to keep them straight and like keep them on track. It's just that's, it, that's like, the life they live, you know? And that's where yeah. even the music they portray, they're already in that life. There's no like straight edging and going back. You know, you're in it for the long haul, basically. Dude, for, okay, for example, I saw this interview that Little Pump did with Adam-22, where Adam-22 went to his mansion at his house, and there was just, like, a bunch of fuck. I, I felt so bad for him, dude. He seemed so lonely. There was just a bunch of, like, hangarounds, guys there just doing his drugs and, like, leeching off of him. I just, it looked like shit, dude. And he was, like, sipping lean in his cereal and stuff. It was just, uh, it, was a, it was a mess, dude. I like, I just felt so ones, bad. except with Lil Xan, but it was the same, same thing. Same, same shit. thing. They're just, but they bunch were drugged out, bro. They were all just, like, soulless, just, just, Flesh bodies walking around. Yeah, people around the house. staying in his house, just living off of him. Like they're not really his friends. Like it just sucks. Yeah, it's shitty man. So uh, rest in peace to all all the artists we lost over the past year. It's just it's terrible. But think about back and I think back to like 
you know 70s 80s rock where these guys are like going nuts bro yeah but it's just kind of different i don't know it's like well even then within that decade i mean you lost janice joplin Jimi hendrix jim morrison like true so they all had their the, own all the same shit yeah true <clears throat> they're all doing way too much heroin and that's that's what happens bro you get some money everything you know when you, you can only smoke weed and drink for so long when you're doing it every night that it just gets boring and then you're on to the next thing. Yeah. When you got money having, and freedom like that, it just having all that money is a dangerous thing. Yeah, back in the back in the seventies, everybody's pumping their arm full of heroin, and nowadays all the rappers are just pumping their bodies full of lean. It's the same thing. And pills. If I had if I had that much money, I would be dead. I'd be a terrible too. person. I wouldn't be a terrible person, but I would be like fucking. I would pro. I don't. If I had uh, all of a sudden had millions of dollars <laughs> at eighteen or nineteen years old, yeah, yeah. there's no way that would have ended good. Well, that's what's crazy about like athletes too. Like think you about think about being you. eighteen and being like the number one draft pick or something like Zion, for instance. Like that's fucking mm-hmm. crazy. Eighteen, nineteen years old. Len bias. I don't See, know what I would you do. Can keep, yep, Len bias. You can keep. Yeah, you can keep yourself on a lot more straighter path just by being around the people and, and focusing on the sport and rap the, the, and yeah. stuff and, and, and artists, the culture is to just get fucked up and just be like, you That's know, true, yeah. And you're not like, you're not performing. You don't have to have your body in peak shape. You could party every night. You <laughs> right. Know? Speaking of that, you got, so juice world, like, um, he used to be like skinny and stuff. And then he came out with this video with Chubby. NBA young boy. And he's fat as fuck from all that lean. Like he got, and people were like saying like, how when did he get fat? He just got like huge. Belly. Yeah. I made, I made a oxycodone, hydrocodone syrup at my last pharmaceutical job. And it's literally almost all fucking sugar. That's all it is. <laughs> And then out of like a 8,000 pound or a, um, I'm sorry, like a 2,000, 3,000 gallon batch we would make, it would be like 8,000 pounds of sugar in that and water. And then w- oh. with the obviously the controlled substance, but it's it, it's just all sugar. So you're just drinking. Bro, think about fucking... Yachty. Have you seen Yachty? Yachty got big, bro. Really? He was, Yachty, he was Yachty's like, straight edge, though. Now he is? He's always been. Really? So he got, yeah. he got, he got big off something else. I don't know. There was a point Food. where he just wasn't looking good, bro. <laughs> food. Probably graham crackers and milk. Yeah, honestly, yeah. probably just junk food. Bro, he's straight edge? <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah, dude, he's like from the sub like from the burbs of Atlanta. Like yeah, he's lives from in a Mableton. real nice neighborhood. Yeah, Mableton. It's it's nice. All right, well, oh, yeah. Like I'm pretty sure he still lives with his mom. His his parents are together, and his parent his mom's like they got both got really good. He grew up middle class, like high middle class. His name's Clarence, and his parents have a really good marriage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He went to Cranbrook. It's a private school. All right. Well, sorry, Yachty. I guess it's a uh, unrelated weight gain. Sorry, pal. Yeah, don't be talking shit about the old Yachty. <laughs> so, sorry, he says. Pop, pop it up. My bad. Leave a little boat out of it. Pop a dock. <laughs> this Quack, one this is right the it. juice world thing seemed to hit a lot of people but i think mac miller was definitely like oh that yeah. was bigger for me way bigger for me well that yeah me, me too personally but just overall i feel like because mac was just involved in like different genres and stuff as well you know he was he was more of a star to begin with well it's it been just around for like it, 10 years yeah it just yeah. it was more personal to me because it just that's the cool we were listening to like you know in our formative years in high school oh, and yeah. stuff so that's kind of why it it sucked right. well yeah, like he came was... out he came out with his first mixtape as soon as we graduated like he's the same age as us yeah right i so I, I can remember being like in my first year at finlandia like just listening to that on the way back to class i don't know you know, just stuff like that it just it was more personal yeah, everybody's everybody's bumping kool-aid and frozen pizza and shit like right that. right or donald trump or you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> did and he then, get and sued then, over like, that song i can't remember and then when I, blue I'm side park sure came out it was huge i'm gonna tell yeah. you what nobody knows Anything about being Donald Trump better than me, Donald Trump. Believe me. <laughs> Mac Miller is the greatest rapper of all time. Mac Miller created a song about me because I'm hip with the young people. Believe me. Trump 2020. <laughs> oh, wow. We had two Do- Donald Trumps joining the podcast. Thanks for stopping by, Donald. We appreciate that. No problem. <laughs> Build that no wall. Problem. <laughs> I'll, see you, I'll see you next week. Trump right, 2020. Well- Fuck Kamala Harris. Who is that? Yo, I, I didn't She's... get that reference earlier either. Kamala Harris? Yeah. 
she was a Democratic President nominee. Yeah, she was, she was a she, nominee. She dropped out. Yeah, she dropped out. She got shredded in the debates by like some broad that, from Hawaii. By Trump. That <laughs> was was he shitting on her on Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, sh- what you- he shits on like all the Dems on Bro, Twitter. That's just funny. The president of the United States is just he's tweeting a troll. at people. He's just he's just yeah, he's a troll. I love it. He's just shitting on people on Twitter. I like, Trust I me, wanna, in this presidential wanna... race, Sleepy Joe and Bernie Sanders are going to be like Juice World, asleep forever. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't wait to lick all the fucking liberal tears up. When he wins again, liberal tears taste good. You're <laughs> all right. Well, there we go. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. That's all from us. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the political corner. Um, did you guys see the uh, the Rockets game the other night where they fucking um James Harden dunked a ball and it went through the net and wrapped back around and went like hit the rim and went out and they called it no yeah, they, good. Yeah, they called that no good, hey. Yeah, yeah, that was hilarious. I don't like him. I don't okay, understand well, that. <laughs> well, that's beside the point there, but Yeah, that's that's yeah. <laughs> okay. But th- to me it's like how does that happen? I I just don't get it. Even if the ref understand. misses it, how it's points in a basketball game. How can you just like not What'd care and not fix it? What they say it didn't clear the net. Well, they just said he had missed, and there. I don't. I don't know the exact reason why they couldn't challenge at that point. Very clearly, like, didn't miss. Yeah. So how can you not challenge a bat? Like it That's went in saying. the fucking basket. I think, I don't imagine did, if football did the play if you keep going. Uh, see, I don't know. I don't. I don't know the details, but there, that was like eight minutes left in the game. I do know that. And the um, Adam Silver came out today and said that they had enough time remaining in the game that it didn't matter. Cool, you can say that, but hey, man, two points but on the board mattered. Two. I just I yeah, don't understand. There's cameras nice, everywhere man. in that building. Like we have the technology to get it right. Why not just get it right? Why why protect the refs? I, I just don't understand. Yeah, I didn't like, understand that either. That was how, weird. The whole play. How do you weird. how do you fuck up calling a dunk? You gotta see. It. <laughs> yeah. it's bad. see that's it's question weird. number one. But even if <laughs> you taking, do, I'll, I'll side I'm with the ref. I'm taking both of my hands, which are holding a big orange fucking ball, and I'm putting it through this metal rim through a net. Did you see the but video? Gonna, no. So it, it's, he, it's he like dunks it so hard that the ball literally went goes through the net and the net wraps around like you know back in the park the fucking net wraps wraps around and goes on top of the rim and the ball hit the rim and went out so it kind of looked in real time depending on in the angle out. it can look like he just missed it and bashed it off the rim but it's like hey man just get it right take five seconds anybody in that fucking building who watched the replay could have said yeah that's a good bucket and you move on for me it's like the same thing as like. I wish they would bring in automated stuff for pitching. For me, pitching should just be a yes. skill. There should be no room for human error. It shouldn't be up to an umpire to decide if you had a strike or not. It should just be the fucking box, and it should be a strict skill. Nobody outside the pitcher decides where the fuck that ball is going to be and if it's a strike or not. I agree. Well, Technology is there. If it's, who, so who are you saying would determine if it's a strike then or a ball? They, 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 have, the, they have the technology to do it. They already do it. They have the freaking uh, – the strike zone and you know how they show yeah. it like yeah they so already have throw the it to a catcher they, and they, you would, know what they would decide you know what their argument is going to be that like some people say human error is part of the game is, is what they like and, that, Everybody and that's says fine. that about yeah and there are, like are going to be calls in sports in general where the ref is going to have um the responsibility to make a judgment call which is perfectly fine and they're going to get heat for that whatever that's just not the point i just want the main skills of the game to be clear cut there's no gray area Hey, if, if this basketball goes through the hoop, it's two points. If you're behind that line, it's three points. Hey, if you're pitching and you hit this ball in this zone, it's a strike. If you don't, it's a ball. Hey, when you score a touchdown in football, we can review it to make sure you scored a touchdown. Imagine if somebody scored a touchdown over the weekend, you couldn't review it at all. That's like the Rockets thing. The points on the mm-hmm. board matter. Mm-hmm. That's what happened in the Patriots game. Oh, God, that was pathetic, man. <laughs> they said he was out of bounds, and they had no challenges left, so they couldn't challenge it, and they took a touchdown off the board. That was the video that's been going around, so that was a legit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yep, that was a... Yeah, they got screwed. There was, there was a, a lot that happened in that game, but, yeah, that was one of the big ones. So because they had um, called it out of bounds, there was no automatic review. Exactly. Wow, that's really shitty. And the Patriots had no challenges left, so they just took. They couldn't do that's anything about saying. it. When you're talking about points on the board, it should just be clear-cut, man. Think about you that. You just review it. It takes Think five seconds. That. 
the refs are sitting there looking at the jumbotron and they see clearly that they fucked up the call. Like, oh, everybody knows that yeah. that was a touchdown, but you can't do anything because it's the exact same the, thing the, as the Rockets game. Everybody can see rules. that that ball goes through the hoop. It's it's just shitty. See, the, those parts of the game should never be wrong. When it comes to points on the, like these guys' livelihoods depend on performance, which especially the coaches, which in turn comes to points on the board. You're trying to score more points than the other team, whatever sport. And if you're not getting the points that you deserve, you're you could lose the game in these two things. Lose they your did. job in these two examples they did, yeah, which could lead to losing jobs, getting less money, etc. It's literally affecting their livelihood. Just get the core fundamentals of the game right. Period. Yeah, and just review what you can review. Like, there's no reason that that couldn't have been changed at all. That's why I don't like the um the number of challenges. There's a there's a limited number of challenges you have. Like, that fuck is, that. Yeah, that's dumb. You're telling that's me dumb. that the, this ref, you're acknowledging that this ref is going to make a mistake, and I'm allowed to call him out, but only if it's twice, no more than that. What? <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you're just telling me the refs make mistakes, which is fine. We're all human, but let's get the call right. Let's not let's not protect them. Don't be afraid to call them out. Don't be afraid to get the right thing done on the field. Okay, they were wrong. So be it. Move on. Who cares? Yeah, I agree. There's no there's no room for bitching if the call on the field gets overturned or the right the right call ends up being made. There's no room for bitching because it was the right call. But where you exactly. get room for bitching and controversy is when you can't do anything about it and they just made the wrong call. Or, you know, it, 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 like the Patriots game. So now people have room to bitch. If you just get that call right, there's no room for excuses. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Hey, who did the Packers play this weekend? Uh, the Redskins, and they fucked you. That's right. You're going to get killed. Dude, did anybody see how many fantasy points that Drew Brees got? Uh, I, saw, I don't know which side. I think it was FanDuel or something. He had like 40. I have um, okay. fantasy. On, but... on, normal, on normal like ESPN fantasy leagues, he had 95 fantasy Jesus points. Jesus Christ. What? Bro, that game was insane. He had six total touchdowns and like almost 400 yards passing. <clears throat> that was like that was probably the game of the year. That was a fun game for sure. I um I did a little parlay betting over the weekend and they had the Packer the Packers had to win by more than 13. And I took it even though I knew it probably wasn't going to happen, so it just pissed me off when you know you beat the Redskins by 5. We should just be smoking the Redskins. Just smoke yeah, the Redskins. I know not putting points up on the board is a big problem going forward. Yeah. <laughs> what just, are they looking like playoff wise who do they got the next three weeks it's all divisional they got bears vikings and uh lions well so they'll win at Ooh, least lions two be of those. A tough one uh, wait who the lions play this weekend i don't even know i honestly but, haven't been watching them either oh, maybe I'm, the, I'm, I'm, they no, play the vikings they played the vikings no they lost to oh, the vikings go. yeah by like 20 to 7 yeah i stopped paying attention which is understandable, you know. Better you luck next year. Fucking I saw. And shit. I saw this shirt and I wanted to get it, and it said uh, it was a the Lions logo, and it said maybe next year since 1957. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Whenever That's... they, whenever they, yeah, whenever they, their franchise came out or whatever. Yeah, I'm just like that. That hurt. 51. But it was funny. 50. They have a world championship back in like 55 or some shit like that. Whatever yeah. it was, yeah, sometime in the 50s. Have they had the same like uh, owner and shit for a while? Ford, the Ford, yeah, yeah, I think Richard the Fords Ford have owned, yeah, the Fords have owned it. That Ford family's always owned, yeah. So hey, maybe it's just time to move on, huh? Yeah, the maybe, lady who owns them's fucking older than dirt. Yeah, she don't know what the fuck she's. I wish Mike Illich would have bought him back in the day when he was alive. He wanted to, they just wouldn't sell it to him. So who, been the who's gonna have the, Doesn't the same person own the Red Wings and the Pistons? No, yeah, the Red Wings work. and the no, not Tigers. Anymore. Oh, Tigers, sorry. Tigers, Tigers. Yeah, Tigers. The, it, well, hey. Mike Illich, he passed away a couple years ago. Oh, he was the guy. Okay, okay. Who's got That's the other two talking. spots, the wild card spots in the NFC right now? Does the Seahawks have one, and who's got the, the other one? Vikings. Whoever wins the NFC East. Or no, that um, – Vikings, the, right? C- C- Seahawks and Vikings, yeah. Damn, the Damn, NFC that's is actually pretty good. Well, yes, yeah, so, mm, that's that oh, yeah. sucks that they're the wild card again. And then, I mean, um, no, what, um, what's like the garbage one where the Redskins, the Cowboys, and the that's Eagles? The East. That's the, the East, East. East. Yeah. and that's still up yeah. for grabs. Who, who's Somebody's winning gonna get that in one there? Right fucking seven and nine. Cowboys, right? Cowboys, yeah, and then the Eagles behind them. 
Yeah, the Eagles are fucking five and seven. And they're playing right now. But what what are the Cowboys' record? I think that's also five and seven. I want to say. Yeah, five I don't and think seven. That bad, are they? There's, yeah, there's nobody over five hundred or five hundred in that division. Yeah, they're all losing records. The Cowboys are six and seven, sitting at first. That's what I thought. Okay. So, well. <laughs> So yeah, between them and Philly, that's going to be decided over the next uh, few weeks here. Well, if the Cowboys win one more game, get the it's... fucking. I don't. I don't have faith at this point. I don't have have faith in anybody but the fucking Niners and the Seahawks. Well, do you guys think I anybody think... can win in Green Bay? Well, we Fuck what yeah. as a pa- <clears throat> as a Packers fan, you want the Saints to beat uh, the Seahawks. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, fan. I didn't mean the Seahawks. I meant the Saints, the 49ers and Saints. But go ahead. Um, bec- because then the Packers. Could possibly get a two seed because they'll hold the tie. They'll hold the tiebreaker. Do you think anybody beats them in Green Bay in the playoffs? Anyways, no. Yeah, that's why home field is so important there. But it doesn't look like we're. I don't think we're gonna get it. You'll get one game, right? Yeah. Yeah, one game. But the game that's gonna matter is gonna be somewhere else. It's gonna be in San Francisco or some shit. Who would you rather play against if you guys had to be like? The Packers have a better chance of beating this team between the Saints and the 49ers. I say Niners, even though they smoke. Rather, us. rather play the Niners. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't want them to have to go to New Orleans and have to play the Saints. Yeah, I'd probably say the Niners because I'd have a lot more confidence playing against Jimmy Garoppolo than Drew, Drew Brees. Brees. Yeah, exactly. I'll take my chances against the Niners again. I don't. I don't like the chances in that game to begin with, but I'd rather them than the Saints. Man, the Niners just looked really good this weekend. I mean, both both teams did. I, I had the Saints winning that game, but it was just a good game overall. Those those are going to be two powerhouse teams going into the uh, the NFC playoffs. Yeah, those are going to be tough games for somebody to knock those two off, unless it's you know Green Bay. The big question though is who beats Belichick and Brady. Well, that's that's the next point here. Is so the they Chiefs beat him yesterday. So between Ravens, Chiefs, and Pats, what do you guys think happens there? If they have to go on the road and play either of those two teams, they lose. I mean, they just lost that home yesterday. That's what I'm saying. Andy, the Andy Reid is totally lose. different. Yeah, and that's Andy Reid totally, is like fair, the fair. Andy Reid's like the best coach ever to play following a bye week. Like, yeah. Ever, he has the best record so. out of any but other. But he's coach. like Belichick. Although Belichick has the winning record against Andy Reid by like two games, I think. But coming off the bye, I know what you're saying though. I don't think – I don't know. I really like the Ravens' chances. It's it's scary because if you can shut down Lamar Jackson, the, the team will go, but that's the that's hard, hard part. Yeah. I but mean, when you're talking about Andy Reid and too. Belichick, yeah, that, that's that's a good point too. But I think Even that last if, year when they played the Chargers, they shut down Lamar. And again, yeah, he was he's better this year, but they shut him down and the, it, was, it was a wrap. The game was – you know, it's done. So I don't this, know. This is – this year, I have like the least confidence I've had in the Patriots in a while. I'm scared for them. What's crazy to think about is I think about Aaron Rodgers leaving Green Bay or like retiring one day, but Tom Brady's closer to that. It's going to be really weird seeing a different quarterback in New England over the next few seasons. Yeah, I really wish they would have kept Garoppolo. Yeah, that, that's that's what I'm saying. Bel- Belichick has to be. You know, they had to let him go and get whatever, but you got to be kind of well, pissed yeah, yeah. that. It was all Robert Kraft, Bill or Belichick. I don't think why. And uh, Tom Brady was pissed. They got rid of him too. Yeah. No, Brady. I mean, Belichick wanted to trade Brady to San Francisco. He wanted to keep Garoppolo. Really? <laughs> no yeah. Shot, you, really? you don't remember that? No, I'm dead serious. Go look it up. I'm super dead serious. They would have rather traded Brady. Yes, Belichick wanted to keep Garoppolo because long term, <laughs> that's the play, obviously. Yeah. And uh, Kraft said no, so they had to get rid of Kraft. Right, well, we're not going to fact check that, but we're just going to take your word for no, it. No, you so can't. You heard it here first. Ahead. Bill Belichick wants Tom Brady out of New England. He would have rather kept Garoppolo. Which is the hey, play wh- long term, yeah. And now look at him balling. Yep. We're, on, gonna, we're on to Garoppolo. Are they going to get a, Are they going to get Antonio Brown back? No, it doesn't sound like it. I wish, but it doesn't sound like it. Antonio yeah. Brown's done forever. Just a late push for the playoffs. He's an idiot, man. He's, he he's, go got, he's bipolar. He's bipolar yeah, or some he's, shit, bro. He's, he's got, got some he's issues. Got some, yeah, I he's watched. Some, I watched guys... a vlog of like somebody, uh, some some famous dude. He used to kick in uh, in college and stuff. Um, but he went to his house and AB has this like huge house. But he just seemed like a normal chill dude, bro. Just you know, oh, oh yeah. Obviously, obviously the it was video, for a video of him, him farting in the doctor's face. <laughs> no, I didn't see that one. Sorry. <laughs> 
Did you, did any of you guys see the video of him farting no. and that, laughing in his chiropractor's face? Really? You guys didn't see that? No. No. Yeah, AB is fucking farting in the chiropractor's face and thinks it's hilarious. And the chiropractor's like, dude, you're fucking disgusting. What the <laughs> hell? I mean, he's obviously not like a good human being. Like, I agree with that. But it just sucks because he's he goes on social media and kind of makes himself to be an ass where... In real life, I'm watching him, and sure, it's on a YouTube video, so you never know what act he's putting up, but he just seems like a nice dude, man. Just has a huge house. He's showing the guy around, just acting normal, talking talking the shit. I'm sure he has yeah. elements of both. Yeah, so that's okay, what I'm saying. So when said bipolar, like, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I, probably. I seriously think he is. He'll go do what he does, and then he'll apologize the next day, and he'll be like, nah, fuck that. I didn't mean that. And then he'll be like, no, really, I'm sorry, guys. How many apologies has he written to the NFL and Robert Kraft? Thank you for None. everything. And then Zero. Bash and like, Zero. It's his fucking, it's his management, period. You think, it's, you think he gives a fuck, like, apologizing to Robert Kraft? Maybe, but. I think he just wants to play. So yeah. maybe he is thinking that way now. He could have been balling on the Raiders this year. They're not a bad team, or they weren't at one point. I don't know why he, like, fucked that relationship up to begin with. That He had a fine situation there. Derek Carr's a good quarterback. I mean, That team is actually <laughs> not was that bad. He at practice and just decided, hey, don't want to be on this squad. And he just sabotaged, froze, yeah. his, froze his fucking feet. Maybe he really just wanted to play for the pay. I mean, it's a theory. It could, he, I mean, who knows? Nobody ever knows except yeah, him. He, okay, He's, okay. Even if he did, he went and fucked that relationship up too. Well, he didn't expect the rape allegations to come out either. So. That's true, but he didn't have to send messages like that and be an idiot. Like yeah. threaten, you know, threaten the person that's accusing him. That's he, what I'm he, saying. You got to know a, better. Yeah. He doesn't, apparently. <laughs> you got to know better. Yeah. Because he's one of the top talents in the league. Or for sure, be. yeah. <laughs> and, and he was balling with New England for a couple weeks there. Yep. I don't know. It, it's just tough. I wish the best for him, but if if you're – I can't imagine being a superstar athlete and then just jumping on Twitter and talking the shit. Like, you just got to at some point let it go. Like, when you make it that big, like, it, it pisses me off every time – an athlete comes out and somebody looks at their 2014 tweets and finds some racist bullshit or, you know, just some bullshit they were For tweeting anybody, back when they were little. The it pisses me off. Like, if, once you make yeah. it like that, you got to go clean your shit up, period. Or just delete it. Who cares? It, it was, it was five years ago. No, I get it. I get that point. But how can you just not People go don't back look and at do it, it like that. It People just, won't look at it. Yeah, it's just going to bring it. That's what I'm saying. Once you make it, delete all your shit and start just from delete scratch. it. Yeah, exactly. Once you make yep. it to that point, just start over, bro. It's not even worth it. See, pussy SJWs. Nah, but bro, you can't just have like oh so there's a picture God. there's a picture <laughs> there's a picture for the Brewers, Josh Hader. He's like he's from the South, he's like from Mississippi or whatever, and people go back and find tweets where he's dropping the N bomb on people, bro. Like that's just not okay. Okay, obviously. Yeah, so what I'm saying, you know, you just gotta be smarter. And I think management will start to start doing things like that. Like if you get an agency, they're probably gonna start scrubbing Twitters and Facebooks and shit, which they should have sure. already done. Like you're making millions of dollars and now your career is in jeopardy because of some tweets you made because you're a fucking idiot and you were young. Just delete it. Period. Even yeah, like even like the Kevin Hart shit. stuff. That what was Let's that? Just, yeah. The um, he says yeah. he, he, well, he's a first of all he's a comedian and he made a joke about his son being gay and they yeah. kicked him from hosting the Oscars. Well, that was yeah. something that had happened years ago and he had apologized. 2011 yeah, or something it, like that. And it came back up again before the Oscar stuff or after he had been announced as the as now the person that's ridiculous. To host it. They brought it back up and said, hey, we want another apology. And he just said, no, I already apologized fucking seven years ago or whatever. Yeah, That's so ridiculous. he just stepped down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck that, It just man. sucks, man. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. That's fucking ridiculous. Well, yeah, that, and that's like the extreme, especially for something you've already apologized about. Like, you've already been through it. It's just shitty to re-see that. I'm about to have some serious shit go down in my bedroom right now. Like what? My, or my orange cat came in and the pit bulls in here and they don't get along. Uh oh Oh shit! <laughs> Ladies Mike, and gentlemen, record it. Okay, we got I'm ourselves trying. a five round bout coming up. We got Mike Vick <laughs> in the building. Hey, we How do. we doing, Mike Vick? Ooh, this dog's about to lose his <laughs> oh. fucking eyes. It's just gonna happen. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, there it is. All right, Jesus <laughs> Christ. What do you guys think about the the Mike Vick stuff? Yeah, what's going uh, on? Somebody fill me in. Somebody fill me in. I think, so it's, they I think got... it's too little, too late now. <laughs> They got 400,000 signatures on a petition for him to not be an honorary, uh, is it captain or coach at the Pro Bowl? Like, who yeah, gives what's a what's fuck? It, what's it, what's it do well, no, so, so because of he his didn't past, do because of his past, they for... don't want him to be involved in the Pro Bowl. What? That's, that's <laughs> He's an analyst because... on NFL. What the yeah. fuck you like? 
So what? yeah, it's so just what about tough, what about man. him going back and playing in the NFL, like actually playing after <laughs> yeah, that? Where yeah. the fuck were they, Where was those signatures yeah. then? That doesn't I mean, make what? any. That's so and, and I get it. He he did some fucked up shit, but at the same he did. time, oh my god! But at okay, the same time, yeah, again, you had opportunities. Played in the NFL. Yeah, you had opportunities before this to shut he this shit down. He did prison. Yeah, exactly. He did prison time. He did his time. If you were that he concerned, out, he, a... he wouldn't have played in the NFL again. You guys would have made exactly, that. That should have right. been the time, not years later. Now where he's he's, he's on played national in the NFL TV every week. He's analyzing the NFL, and now they want to bring him as an honorary captain, which is cool. Is it is it distasteful? Maybe a little bit, but at the same time, you've no. been around the league for years already. So what now? You he's just not, can't stop now. He's not going to be in the Hall of Fame because of all that. You get you can't I mean, condemn the guy for the rest of his fucking life. Like let him you know let him live. He paid his price. He does so much shit for the Humane Society now. Like just yeah. I, and you can hold, you, you can hold it over shitty, his head, but, but just don't on. be trying to take jobs you know or opportunities away from him. Because if you wanted to do that again, you should have did it back then. Exactly. And, and he did do murder. It. Other people. Keep the same energy, and nobody and Ray, nobody gives a fuck. Ray Lewis stabbed yeah, Ray somebody. Lewis stabbed <laughs> yeah, somebody. but he's, was that was he found guilty of? No, they don't. No, no they they have More, no oh, clue. So different. Okay. So it's okay. different. They, said, they, they have said no he's clue. Not guilty, but come on, he did it. I get it, but at the same time, it's different. He, in the court of law, we can't just say he's a murderer now and just like hold him out of exactly. shit. Exactly. Well, no, he supposedly he had a white suit he was wearing <laughs> that <laughs> night, is. and he burned it. Really. Yeah, that's they what they're just, saying. They, they, but... just, they just didn't have enough evidence, but he's, he's definitely killed I, those Yeah, and I get it. I get it. I 100% get it. But at the same time, <laughs> allegations can't just fuck you for the rest of your life. No. But there's it, no, proven facts that Mike Vick fucked up. And it's, he's it's like, like starving OJ. these dogs. Okay. He's like, OJ. OJ didn't do it either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you never know. If the glove don't fit, <laughs> you must have quit. That is yeah. right. It does not make sense. This is too bad. It just it sucks <laughs> to see, man. And I, I don't know where they're where they're at on that, um, the decision on that. But hopefully, on the OJ thing? Works out. No, on the <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, on still, the we're still waiting on a verdict. On the Mike yeah, Vick, yeah. Uh, going to the Pro Bowl type thing, legend, whatever he's gonna be. Uh, I, I don't think just let him do it. Who cares, man? It's, that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Or Roger Goodell, whatever the fuck his name is, the worst commissioner in all professional sports. I don't think did we ever touch on the uh, the Kaepernick workout? Did we talk about that? Oh bit. no, we didn't. And they um the, one of the receivers that was at the workout got signed, I think, to the Redskins, was it or something like that to a practice mm-hmm. squad? <laughs> yeah, 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 good for that guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, if, how, Ka- how if Kaepernick d- went out there and just balled out, bro, and didn't make all this shit, he might be on a team today. Honestly, he, no, he, he would, would be. be if he if he didn't change if he didn't. Make the decision at last second and stuff like that. You know that probably irritated the fuck out. He made the NFL himself look like coaches. a diva. Yeah, yeah. So of course there. That's the, he. Yeah, he did. It was going to be a risk to sign you already, just because of there's a split fan base. Yeah, obviously, it would have been a risk. Worse. But now on top of that, now you're just doing all these little extra things. It's shitty to see, but at the same time, like I, I don't want to say, hey, just do what the NFL tells you to do. But just if you want to, if you wanted to play right. football, you would have. You'd be playing football. That's the thing well, look, is the rules listen, don't bend for you like the same listen, with Antonio Brown. Like it, it's listen to what you just it, said. You know, if if you want to play for the NFL, you know what I mean. You said you gotta listen to what the NFL says if you want to play for the NFL. Like, yeah, exactly. You know, you have to follow rules. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. You have every yeah. It's guideline it right. And the, the fact the funny thing was is people talking about like the Lions. If Kaepernick, if the Lions sign Kaepernick, I won't be a Lions fan. So after all these years, that's what does it for you. <laughs> I was like, like, uh, so I mean, I tweeted something about. I was like, if if, it, if you're really gonna not be a Lions fan, if the Lions got Kaepernick, you're either a racist or you're b a fucking racist. Like what? <laughs> so uh, after the Lions losing. It's tradition to lose. You're not going to be a fan because, like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, people are so damn stupid, man. I just, yeah, I don't, just I don't stupid. see him getting signed to anywhere, honestly. Just because no, it, it comes anymore. with fifty percent of the population. Maybe that's a skewed stat, but whatever. You could basically split it down the middle of people who are just going to genuinely fucking hate the guy. Yeah, maybe he's, the he's not going to get signed. He won't get signed. <laughs> he's done. Did you guys? Did you guys watch the uh, uh, the boxing fight this weekend? Yeah. Yes. Mike, you saw it? Yeah, it was a, yeah. That was a good fight, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Mike, Fuck you saw it? You guys. I didn't even say it. <laughs> yeah. But Mike, yeah, Mike what'd you it. think? Mike, what'd you think? I think that Andy Ruiz just got fucking schooled in boxing 101. 
<laughs> bro, he came out heavy too, man. Like, did you hear and he's that's laughing what, that's about you, it. That's what you fucking you get when you're said? supposed to show up. To, when you're supposed to show up to camp in June or July, and you don't show up till fucking September because you're too busy eating fucking dude. choco tacos or whatever the fuck you're eating. Dude, like. <laughs> dude, 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 listen, guys. He after the fight, he said, "I, I did too much training myself. I got to let my trainer train me. I trained myself too much." I'm like, dude, are you serious? What do you mean? You're the he, guy. He now. got fat Hello. too, and he got fat. Oh. And, and he said, he even said I partied too much. What was the um? It, do you know his like, weight dude, in the first fight by chance? Two six uh, like, like it was like two sixty five or something. Yeah, two sixty five, and he showed up at like two eighty three. Two eighty three. Yeah, that's a hefty motherfucker. He's like five ten, which is cool. He made he made his money, and then everyone said like, "Yo, now you're sleeping in satin sheets." Like, it's just not it's not as easy to wake up at five a.m. to run or whatever the fuck. But you're doing. but come on, like you don't even let your like you're training yourself and your trainers. Like, yeah. What? Well, that's like, like that was that was not the time to be that honest. <laughs> Yeah, that's like some Mike Perry shit, bro. Just just kind of doing your own thing, <laughs> like your fucking girlfriend or whatever is your manager. Yeah, that was I, I don't man. understand. Because he, he has he has good. a chance to win that fight, whether people believe For it or sure. not. He won the first one. You could always catch him again. You just have to go hard. If you want more money and your name to be you want this thing to be a legacy thing, you win that second fight. And he if kept he, talking if, about the trilogy. He's not getting the trilogy, man. No, going no, straight no. To no. something else. He's got to win a couple He's fights done. if he wants that fight again. Yeah, yeah th- no way. Nobody's going to be talking about Andy the Destroyer Ruiz in 2020. It's just not happening. They're, like, everybody's moving on to Wilder Fury and then the winner of that facing AJ. Because that's yep, what should have happened to begin with. Yes. So we'll see. That's that's an exciting little uh, three-way right there. Is that even penned yet? The Wilder Fury Wilder fight? Fury yeah. is in ja- or is it January or February? I don't remember. Yeah, January. I, it's January. January. Thing. Yeah. So I don't know. I think I really don't know who to pick in all that. If Fury really impressed me last time they fought, but yeah, Wilder's obviously a stud. Yeah, I think they're both better than Anthony Joshua. Honestly, I'd agree. I agree with that. I think they both beat Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. So I we're gonna see so who wins too. this next fight. I and mean, f- Wilder's been trying Fury. to fight Joshua for a while, hasn't he? And they've you've been, been ducking him. No, it takes a lot to put that fight together with all the different promoters and stuff. That's gonna that's tough. But again, to if they together. wanted to get that done, they could have. Yep. Yeah. Tell it was Joshua's promoters. team that wasn't that wasn't signed. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. I do think a large part of it was Anthony Joshua ducking it. And whether I don't I, know if it's him, think, but I, I, I don't I, think he's I, actually scared like himself. Well, no, I bet you no. It's Eddie Hearn. Yeah, it's his team is not fuck Eddie Hearn. The negotiations just aren't going well. Whether they went on location or more money, whatever whatever happened, it just didn't happen because of them. I have a trouble saying any professional fighter is afraid of anybody else. Well, nobody like, even said that. I don't believe you know. That. I know. I just <laughs> nobody even people said it. People say that. People say AJ doesn't want to fight. No, well. I get. Like, people yeah. think he's afraid. Random people. He's not. Yeah. He's not. You're not. You don't get to that level being that being afraid no. of people. Like, come on, yeah. they're not afraid. No, they're not it's fucking no. afraid. That's why it pisses me off when people say that. Yeah. No, he's fucking shook to the core. <laughs> sure. Never fighting again. There was speculation no, that he could I retire just... after this fight. Who, AJ? Yeah. God, I hope not. He because there was good. there was also a rumor that he had gotten knocked out in this camp as well. I didn't hear that one. I heard about the last one. I didn't yeah. hear he got knocked out this time too. Just just saw some rumors on the old uh, Twitter feed. Who who knows? You know what's really true going out there? But damn, maybe he's got the glass jaw, Joshua. Yeah. So maybe he's got maybe he's got that rock hold chin. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So maybe you know, there's a chance we don't really see him fight. Too much more, especially Even with that much reason. money. Why? Why would you keep going? You know, get this either, exactly. either fight uh, <laughs> Fury or fucking Wilder and just be done with it. Honestly, he probably won't fight, like that fight. He won't fight again until like next fall. Yeah, it'll be a while. There'll be there'll be a six month break after the Fury Wilder fight, or some some yeah. sort of larger break. Mm-hmm. Well, if Wilder and Fury fight in January, you can fight twice as a pro boxer a year. So the fight probably won't happen until just later fall later. time. Yeah, Joshua will take. I don't even think he'll pick up like a warm up fight. Well, that was the problem. He picked fucking Andy the Destroyer Ruiz as a warm up fight last time and got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, you don't want that to happen twice. That was. Well, that was I don't. I don't. I don't think so because Ruiz took that fight on super short notice. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Short it was. Ex- yeah, there was a, there was a problem where Ruiz had to come in, but yeah, he was taking a warm up fight. Because because fucking Fury and Wilder were fighting each other, so he's he wasn't just gonna big, sit around. Maybe. And maybe, you know maybe he's just doing out his contract, whatever he's doing. But that was the fight he had around that same time as Wilder and Fury fighting. Was it was yeah, it Drill Miller? 
Yeah, and he got popped for roids, didn't he? Or PED? Oh, that's what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said all like half the fucking got boxers uh, have tested positive for heads before, didn't they? Speed- that yeah, some promoter speed- was saying that shit. Speaking of heads, you guys see what happened to Russia in the Olympics again? Holy shit, Wait, dude! They mean? just don't stop. They're, they're, the, they're banned. Like the Russia name is banned from the Olympic for the next like five years, and every like sport, like international competition, they're banned. Really? Because they, nice. they 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 took All like the... their own pe- people's piss and like switched it out. Like they did a bunch of sketchy yeah, I knew shit, they were dude. fucking Which around been with the thing. Olympics in Russia, but I just that's been a thing. Yeah. Like two Olympic big, big cycles story ago, just came out. Two Olympic cycles ago, I'm pretty sure Russia was banned as well. Yep, and that like russian athletes are still allowed to compete in the olympics i think that under they no, don't go... no no country yeah under the olympic flag not under there yep <laughs> what the but, fuck? but i think they, Di- d-ball they... was, was invented in fucking russia of course those fuckers are using everything so you're just possible. banning russia fuck you ban the athletes think... that took the shit too i don't understand think, oh they are they are oh, okay. think about like the movie icarus like how are they still doing this shit like stop like you've been caught like there, everybody just knows that. Like I don't understand why they're still trying this shit. Also, who gives a fuck about the Olympics? <laughs> and, Honestly, not even the Olympics. Is it that <laughs> big of a fucking Olympics. deal that you won? You win fucking the hundred meter dash at the? No, no, and that's no, no. not it's Russia. Not even the Olympics. It's all the international competition. Like they won't be able to play like In hockey, the like the World Cup, or anything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nothing. Wow, Russia's I didn't know that. They're, they're done. If they're just, I was gonna say, if they're just like juicing for the Olympics, like fuck off. Nobody no, even really everything. gives a fuck. Sure, during the Olympics it's, it's fun, but a month after the Olympics are over, you're not like, oh, Russia won the fucking whatever. No, nobody cares. Like but any yeah, like, international competition, they're not allowed in. Yep, the World Cup, World Hockey Federation thing, like all that stuff, the the FIBA basketball thing, whatever you know, everything. That's oh. crazy for hockey. Did you say yeah, female right? basketball? No, FIBA. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, yeah, they're also banned from female to... basketball park. Sorry. I was going to say, no one cares. Nah, yeah, I wish the females would juice. That'd be awesome. Make it a little Especially bit more basketball. Yeah, so, yeah, maybe they get more than a couple fans to show up there. And, you know. They'd be dunking and shit. Yeah, maybe that'd be cool. Hey, did you guys see Rikishi? Did you guys see Rikishi show up at the Lakers game? Yeah, dude, Rikishi was at the Lakers game. That was awesome. Yeah, fucking. He, he, has, he has, sat down. He has long sat black at, hair now. Yeah, sat his fat ass down in the in a bleacher <laughs> with the thong on. You. Yeah, they had to give him two seats. Bare ass so and all. Fat. Yeah. I'm gonna Ooh. I'm gonna be I'm gonna that? be that guy right now. Who the fuck is Rikishi? <laughs> what? My Rikishi? <laughs> Dylan, what the fuck, bro? I don't know. Is that a wrestler? Yeah. Me, oh wow, me, shocker! Me, I don't know. Listen, me, me and Park. No, me and Parker are being really uh, sarcastic. You guys gotta go look though. Yeah, yeah, you gotta see. <laughs> Fucking Rikishi. Rikishi's okay. fat ass. Is, yeah. He's the Just father like, of the Uso brothers. Like, hello. Yeah. Uh, Just well, Br- Br- Brittany gets pissed at me, like not real pissed, because I always like, because I can't stand Rikishi. Not not the real Rikishi, but that Rikishi, I can't stand. And I just because all the stuff she was just like posting naked pictures He's a piece of stuff. Shit, yeah, I can't stand her. And then I like, I, I just vent about it all the time with Brittany and she laughs, but then she, 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 people she, think it's like, oh, she's so cool and like quirky, but no, she's, she's fat. She's obese and she's unhealthy. <laughs> she is. No, oh, that's, great. it's the truth, now dude. Com- now I'm confused. I'm We're talking confused about Lizzo. Now. We're talking about Lizzo. Oh, okay. <laughs> we call her Rikishi. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I toss my uh, head back. Back, back. I can't stand that girls are like, oh, she's flaunting her body. That's natural. I'm like, no, she's unhealthy. She's natural. Yeah, got diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she's naturally got oh. diabetes. Yep. Oh, I hate that oh. shit. She That's a big bitch. Blood. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, this took a turn for the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Rikishi. I know, right? Stink face. <laughs> and then and then they, on the on the Jumbotron thing, like they had her and she started like twerking and then they like went back on the cheerleaders. It's like yeah. and then oh, I, I, of that. I, <laughs> I saw this thing and it said it said uh uh it was a different um NBA game. It says when Liz will start twerking and it was it, it's an earthquake. Can you feel that beneath us? 
<laughs> I don't know what it must have been at like a Clippers game or some shit, but it was from another game and it said when Lizzo was twerking. It was the no, 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 that, 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 no that, this that is the big one. The same game. <laughs> What's this that? Andreas is finally breaking loose. That actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> She brought down. She brought down the stadium. Uh, anyways, a solid, a solid nine point four Richter scale. Damn, is it <laughs> is it snowing in this fucking Eagles game? Is that snow or is that rain? Who it's gives rain. a shit? It's raining. Is it? Yeah, it said it was gonna rain all game. This is a unless it's turned into Eli, snow. Eli's I guess I don't tonight, know. Huh? Eli's back, baby. He just threw a touchdown. Oh wow, big zero zero ball game. Love to see that. Nope, seven nothing. <laughs> oh well fuck off. Spoiler alert. Where's old Dan where's old Danny Dimes? Got bench for being a shitter. <laughs> bench. Hey, how about he Tannehill? Like you uh can you imagine like that bench tackle? Marcus Mary? Oh yeah, first of all, the tackle. Second he of all fast. Bro, he's fast as fuck. He has to be. Who Tannehill? Yeah, yeah, he caught I mean, up to that guy on the interception. I mean, you don't play in the him. NFL and not be athletic. <laughs> Very true. Very true. You know what Mike I mean. J. Williams. <laughs> Unless you're you know what I mean. Tom Brady, <laughs> he ain't athletic. Hey, wash your mouth. I love Tom Brady. No. He is the GOAT. It's crazy and he how can't, he runs, Marcus Mariota for that guy. He runs like a 5 four forty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you draft the number one overall, was he first or second overall pick? And he's played for a few years. He was doing real good, whatever. And then all of a sudden, it's just shit. That all sucks. right, listen. Tom, Br- Tom Brady ran a five four forty back in what, like two thousand or whatever. Two thousand. Yeah, ninety nine. Okay. Oh, now he's it? on. Now he's yeah, on that TB twelve diet. I'm bet you he's probably down to like a four two four. I would say I would say a solid five one six. <laughs> He's probably he faster than Chris Johnson. After eating all that avocado ice cream? No, well, Tim he's, he's he also out. has like a handful of rings that he carries around. So that's yeah, what we're not taking that into account here. Those rings slow him down, and that giant dick slows him down too. <laughs> <laughs> wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Speaking of Tom Brady's dick, yo, what did you guys think of uh, his little kiss with his son or whatever? You mean that Mako session is it, is it, with his son? Hold on, back hold, on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on, hold on. Is that even a big deal, Parker? I saw your family used to do that. Like, that's not a big deal. <laughs> not, bro, I would never. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, no, no, am I, am I, no, Parker, no, 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 am I wrong? used to do that. Am I wrong? No, I, yeah, I never kissed my dad on the lips and shit. It was like oh, on the mind. cheek okay, and okay. stuff. Never mind, never mind. I, yeah, okay, I, would... I thought, I'm, okay. <laughs> he, got you, he got you mixed up with somebody else. No, yeah, no, I mixed was... No, like I mean, I would get like might kiss my dad in the cheek and shit like that. Like I'm, the, that's weird, bro. Okay, like, this, is it weird? weird? Tom, Tom Brady like had his tongue down his boy's throat. <laughs> it wasn't that it was a kiss on the lips. It was that it was a kiss on the lips for fucking seven seconds. It was very, yeah. it was very sensual. It was like I think it was I get weird. it. You love your kid, but uh, I mean, relax. It was like huh? a, like a. Uh, it was. It he was did the strange. same thing with uh, who did he, was it? It wasn't Belichick, was it? Who was it? It was after one of their wins. <laughs> no, Robert there was, Kraft. Yeah, was it Kraft. Robert Kraft. Literally. No, he didn't kiss Kraft. No, one hundred percent he did. A hundred percent. Yeah, Not he kissed somebody. Not yes. I promise you. Find it for me. Robert Kraft just probably <laughs> probably just got back from that rub and tug, feeling a little extra frisky. Yeah, yeah. yeah just took his <laughs> Viagra. He's on top of it. Robert Kraft on top of Tom Brady. No, 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 no. I'm watching oh, the video. Oh. Him and Robert Kraft are embracing, forehead on forehead, rubs the head, kisses him on the lips, gives him a hug. No lips. I, I promise you, he kisses him on the fucking lips and gives him a hug. Well, I, I'm perplexed. That is, that is that is weird. Kraft. That is weird. Yeah, bro. I'm, st- I'm still, a, still a fan, but that is weird. He kisses his son with <laughs> those lips, bro. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. I mean, you're going to have to do raised. some in-depth research, man. It might just be that Patriots organization. I don't know. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Um, UFC 245 coming up this Saturday. Mike's really excited for that one. Mike, what is <laughs> what you're... <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> like, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Are you going to watch? You're going you're gonna to buy it live on pay-per-view? 
Yeah, I'm gonna spend the hundred dollars. We'll watch it live. Uh, who who do you got in the main event? Usman versus Covington. <laughs> oh shit! No, I guess that's that's our cue. That's our cue. I guess dogs, I dogs, are like no. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, real quick before we get off, um, Park and Justin, I just want your predictions on UFC 245. Usman Covington. We'll, we'll start at the bottom of the main event. Okay. The, the main I'll card. go Usman. No, no, no. Hold on, hold yeah, on. Ahead. Peter Yan versus Uriah Faber. Yan. I'm gonna pick Faber. I'm going Faber just because, just because. Fuck it, go Faber. I don't know. Uh, I want yeah, him to like win. Faber. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just going based off of uh, love and affection right now. Uh, next fight on the card: Marlon Marias versus Jose Aldo, the goat. Depends how Jose. Aldo does at 135 because he looked like shit he in that picture. Terrible. I have fucking Marlon by, <laughs> by brutal knockout. Brutal fucking I have, knockout. I, I have I have Marlon too, but Jose could if he's healthy at that weight, then he's who not. Knows? I don't know. He's not. It's too late. We'll see. No, nah, well, I mean, look at look at McGregor at 145. Looks like a fucking skeleton. I mean, dude, dude. Maybe, okay, maybe Aldo. Ha- all right. Aldo was killing himself to make 145. Now he's dropping yeah. 10 more pounds. Okay, anyways, keep going. He's getting knocked the fuck out. Wait, Park, who do you think has that fight? Marlon uh, apparently Marais not Jose. Okay. <laughs> I said, I said, I said Jose, but apparently not. I mean, you we'll never see. know. Maybe he has some power down there. Maybe he's healthy. I don't. But the pictures I saw, he looked like shit. Marias is a fucking mm-hmm. killer, bro, and he's coming for mm-hmm. blood. So. Well, Darren Till was was uh, was very harsh on him cutting that. He said he looked like shit too. So I mean, probably. What's up? What's he the says fight after it, that? Uh, Marlon Marias then goes into a man no, who is uh, Jermaine Durand to me. Oh, who gives a fuck? Durand me. Durand me won the belt. Recall this a couple years back, and then would not fight Cyborg. She's talking on the mic, and they're like, "Okay, so what do you think about Cyborg fight?" Cyborg blah, blah, next, blah. and then she's like, "Yeah, well, I think I broke my hand in the fight, or whatever." And yeah, then haven't, good. Haven't seen her since. She she's probably a beast though. People would be surprised. Yeah. yeah. So Nunez ran to me. I have Nunez. Nunez is the greatest female fighter of all yeah, time. Nunez will win. The rap. She's awesome. Uh, after that, Max Holloway versus Alex Volkanovski. What do you guys have for that one? Oh, 145 championship. Man. Oh, please. Prevailing, Max, prevailing, man. Wisdom, I... prevailing wisdom says Max, but, man, people really sleeping on uh, Volkanovski very, very, very hard. You think they are? Because I mean, I think he's I, – I mean, I'm scared for Max, really. I, mean, I, don't I... See, I don't see anybody picking Volkanovski to win the fight. That's why I'm oh, saying really? that. Like, Shit, I would have to pick Max, but, dude, he's good. Yeah. I'll yeah, never, I'll never pick against good. Max Holloway. I got Max Holloway. Yeah, I go Max. I'll go Max. Yeah. Go Max. Yeah. He's going to do his normal. He's going to keep the pressure on for five rounds straight and win a decision. Yeah. Go Max. Uh, main event in that card on Saturday night, UFC 245, Kamaru Usman versus Colby Covington for the welterweight championship of the world. Who do you guys got? Flip the coin. I don't know. Really? Really. Yeah, for real. They're both good I'd wrestlers. My, if I put money down, it'd be it'd have to be on Usman, but I don't know. Who knows, man? I wouldn't be surprised either way. Here is my prediction. Colby Covington wins the fight. You're going to see a MAGA hat on stage with that belt. Please, that's, please, yes. Yes. <laughs> that's that's my – I just think Covington wins that fight. I don't know. Kamaru's a beast. I, got, I hope so. I got I Colby, so. man. I got Colby. He knows what's on the I line here, so. and then we'll see. Usman's been parading around with that belt. Has he lost his I don't his like touch? Usman. We don't know, but – I hope Colby wins Marty. that fight, and then Tyron Woodley gets the fucking gets the, yes. come up and gets the get get the next shot. Colby versus Tyron, hell yes. So we'll has see. He, has Tyron fought since he lost? No, no, no. no. They're trying to they're trying to schedule a, him. Who, in, he had a fight trying to schedule up. him and Leon Edwards. He had a fight. He was supposed up, to fight not? Robbie Lawler. Yeah, yeah Lawler, yeah, and he got hurt. That's yeah. right. That's right. In yeah, Minnesota. And he got hurt. Minnesota, yeah. eh? Not a big yeah. soda, but a mini soda. <laughs> All righty. All right, that's all from us here at the Views from the 906 Podcast. We appreciate the support. We'll see you guys next week on Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you next week. Later.